Welcome to another episode of Not Today Society and Merry Christmas. Yes. Happy holidays. Perfect. That's what all of it. That was not set up. <laughs> I was hoping she would say that. On Pat. My name is Bonnie. We got a little holiday episode. I know everyone's gonna celebrate their own holiday. We celebrate Christmas, and we're gonna bring you guys ten funny Christmas stories that we've come across online. Even if you don't celebrate Christmas. Hopefully you guys find this interesting, entertaining. Mm -hmm. um, if you're interested in this kind of stuff, definitely check out other content. Consider subscribing. Let's just hop into it. All right. And we got some funny stuff here. You want to go? Who's going to go first? I'll go first. All right, go ahead. All right. Number one. A cat in New Zealand became infamous for stealing neighbors' Christmas decorations, creating a festive feline wonderland in its own yard. <laughs> so he stole uh, neighbors' Christmas decorations, and creating a festive feline wonderland in its owner's yard. Wow. So take and bring that, it all back to the owner's house. So it's like, good. <laughs> it's like you love Christmas, but you're also a Grinch because you're stealing someone else's like That's decorations. That's so funny. Oh my God. And I do have to say this. I think it's infamous. Okay. Not infamous. <laughs> I did catch that. Infamous. <laughs> infamous. Infamous. I it was... did become famous because of that though. <laughs> Number two, a family discovered their dog had been secretly unwrapping and rewrapping Christmas presents, leaving a trail of torn gift wrap around the house. <laughs> that is crazy. I was gonna say, I get the unwrapping part. How the heck was it that, wrapping? Yes, I, 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 I get the unwrapping and leaving a trail of yeah, wrapping paper, yeah. but <laughs> this said rewrapping. There's gotta Maybe be Maybe like some... the owner would rewrap it and that would happen again yes. or something. You know, these are just quick little snippets. Yeah. So. Well, that's, <laughs> that's, a, that's a pretty intelligent dog to rewrap <laughs> a present. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. Number three. During the school nativity play, a young boy decided to play the role of the innkeeper a bit too real realistically and told Mary and Joseph, there's no room. Go find a... Go find a hotel. <laughs> oh my god. That is awesome. Oh, sorry, wow. I got something in my eye. Um, oh my god, that's too funny. <laughs> that is funny. Could you imagine wow. you're watching a play of like kids and the kid just like This kid's got potential. Mary and Joseph, go find a motel. This kid's hotel. got potential going to drama class. He's gonna be an actor one day. That's crazy. <laughs> Alright, next one. Four. At an office Christmas party, a well-intentioned attempt at a white elephant gift exchange turned into a contest of who could bring the most bizarre and impractical gifts. Now that's funny because that I is. first heard of white elephant mm -hmm. like two, three days ago. Yeah. I was at like a doctor's I'm not office or something. I've talking. heard of it. What? What? I'm it? Trying to remember, they literally told me because they said white elephant because like their Except kids' school. It, yeah. Uh, what? What was it? It has to do with a gift exchange. Yeah. It's but I, oh, like, oh, you you give a gift and then you could like choose to keep it, or it goes to the next person. Okay. And if you like their gift, you can take it. It's something <laughs> like that. I, I forget exactly. If so you know, not, explain so, it to us yeah. how it goes. That's so basically, funny, the last though, person they turned it has, into like, a, a contest for the most bizarre, and impractical it, gift. Which makes funny. sense because, like I said, if I remember correctly, like there is a little like. You can, pick a yeah, you can pick. So yeah. now you have all crazy gifts. It's like, oh, uh, it's not that same. Like, ooh, I want that iPad. I want like the best yeah. thing on the list or whatever. <laughs> That's funny. Um, all right, number five. A grandmother accidentally sent her grandson a Christmas card filled with glitter, resulting in a glitter explosion when he opened it in his car. <laughs> Yeah, grandmother accidentally. That, yeah, that's not a good spot to open it. So, oh, it's all in his car and the yeah, seats. They have the glitter bombs. We've all probably heard of them, but people do that and they explode and people are open. But this was like in a car. That yeah. is hard. And I don't know if the grandma did it. It says accidentally. How do you accidentally send someone like a glitter bomb? Unless it was a car just filled with glitter that opened up. I don't know. That's crazy. All right, number six. Yes. Okay. Sorry. Two neighbors engage in a friendly competition of who could decorate their house more elaborately, leading to a Christmas decoration war complete with daily additions and. Why can I not read? Retali oh, retaliation. <laughs> so, wow. So, two neighbors are trying to outdo each other in the form of like 
uh, doing the house and decorating, but then the board I couldn't say retaliations, meaning that they're actually probably doing something against that each other. Is too funny. I can imagine someone putting people something are up. Competitive when yeah. it comes to that. Oh my there god. There are some people who go like full blown. Mm-hmm. Like when like I was crazy. younger, there was a house in my town that was like the go-to house. Like you go to it, mm-hmm. everyone knew about it. Like, it goes on the news and everything. Yeah. But if you're the neighbor and you want to be that good, <laughs> it's kind of like you could try to be as good, but it's a little bit easier if you start taking down some of their stuff. Maybe. <laughs> Who knows how it went? Uh, all right. Um, next one. A family's a family's attempt at a gingerbread house. A family's attempt at a gingerbread house turned comical when the structure collapsed, prompting them to embrace the ar- ar- I can never say that word. <laughs> Architectural. Yes. Charm, charm of a of a gingerbread ruins display. Okay. So, okay, so a family was building a very nice gingerbread house, and then it collapsed. It collapsed. And then they had to... Prompting it to embrace Embrace the, the charm. architectural <laughs> charm of this is a destroyed piece of art. Because <laughs> people find art in everything nowadays, yeah. and you know what I mean? People... I'm not a big fan of gingerbread. Are you? I haven't had it in a long time. I, know. I don't know. When I was like, younger, I remember I when I used to make, make the, the houses, houses I tried it, I'm like... I wasn't, the, I wasn't the biggest fan when I was younger. I think because... Some are better, some are worse. It's almost like pumpkin pie in the sense mm-hmm. that you could overspice it and it could taste bad. Yeah. Or you could have the right amount of spice, which is almost <laughs> nothing, and, and stick with cinnamon and sugar, and then you got a good one. <laughs> Limit the spices, stick with the cinnamon and sugar, and then you got good stuff. <laughs> All right, number eight. A dad dressed up as the family's elf on the shelf spent the day pulling playful pranks around the house, much to the delight of his children. Well, that's nice. That's Except so that, I don't know if he's a midget or he's a small dad. <laughs> he, or his kids don't know that elves are supposed to be small. Because if the dad, I'm assuming, is an adult, he must have been sitting on something much bigger than a shelf. That's funny. But that's I a nice little thing. I some very, I mean, the uh, elf on the shelf stuff now. I didn't have that when I was growing up. But, Neither. like, they go all out now. Like, there's I so much he, pressure I, I, I on thought, the parents, Yeah, I, I thought you... Told me about that years my, ago. Because my sister, sister with yeah. my knees. I've yeah. Never, I've never heard of the Elf on the Shelf. Elf on the Shelf. Until and it's huge yeah, now. Years ago. And like, it's really intense. Like the parents <laughs> go all out and like every morning it's doing a new thing and Which I think causing that's havoc point. and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now imagine a full adult <laughs> father doing this. Like who knows what he's doing. But I'm sure it's really fun to the kids. So that's what's cool. Yeah. All right. Last one. I no. Nope, just kidding. Just get number all nine, and then I'm number, number ten. Nine. Go ahead. A man decided to replace traditional Christmas ornaments with small rubber ducks, turning his Christmas tree into a quirky Duck the Halls masterpiece. That is awesome. <laughs> Duck the Halls. I was wondering where it's going. I was just like, okay, it's just a tree. <laughs> Maybe there's like a lake, wannabe looking lake. It's, I don't, but Duck the uh, Halls. I like that. Now I see where you yeah. went with that. <laughs> That's some creativity, right? There. <laughs> Duck the halls. Now I need to know if there's a song that goes with that, and if not, someone needs to make. Yeah. yeah. Duck the halls. Oh, I'm oh, saying I'm like, that, like. That's what I'm saying. There's a duck the halls. Now yeah, there yeah. needs to be a duck the halls. Someone <laughs> needs to have a duck the halls with the lyrics following. Changing everything yeah, to ducks, ducks and yes. stuff. That needs to exist, and if not, I will write that song. And I can't <laughs> sing it because I can't sing, but I'll write it and find someone out there to sing it, <laughs> and we will have a duck the halls. <laughs> Last one. During a family game of charades, the word Santa led to hilarious confusion as family members acted out everything from chimney climbing to reindeer wrangling. <laughs> Yo! I'm not sure how that you act crazy. out Santa, you know? Yeah, you need to... <laughs> he, he climbs down the chimney, he's trying to wrangle the reindeers together. Yeah. Like, you can't pretend you're in... The, yeah. Like, charades, would, yeah, you can't... <laughs> Like you, cause I could see how that can, could get really funny. Like, can you use objects around you in charades or no? I'm trying to remember. No, I don't think you're supposed to. You're supposed to act it out, but maybe yeah. you could. So maybe it's like you, know, you like throw a big invisible sack yeah. over your shoulder. You have got a beard. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. if you have a chimney, yeah, you just start running up your chimney. What? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that that makes sense. But that was the last one. Yeah. Hopefully, we could put this out. Around the holidays, it might be after Christmas, it might be before, it might be done, <laughs> who knows. But regardless, we hope you enjoyed your holidays going into the next year. 
Um, we have a lot coming on Not Today Society mm -hmm. into the next year and going. So if you want to join us, be sure to subscribe. And we'll catch you guys in the next episode. Thanks for all the support this year. Yeah. Looking forward to next year with you guys. Thanks a lot. All right. Bye. <laughs>